Okay, so before we begin this little video, I just wanted to remind you, I am currently back my uh, back at my home. Since in Slovenia, there are currently some holidays going on, Christmas and uh, New Year and whatnot. So I'm here taking a little bit of a break. Anyway, also another joke is, because I don't actually have a computer right now, I have to use this browser. So, let's go ahead and get into the video. From the creators of Vagalama High Spec, as well as Raspberry Cube, Matosoft, a very uh, kind of popular company maybe, who has won three or so Moe Game Awards, which I don't know if there's anything going to be accomplished, they have recently announced their sixth project. That's right. They made their second project. I mean, their six percent. I'm sorry, let me just go back to the As you can see, I don't know if you can see because it's kind of bright, but if I zoom in, you can see Raspberry. That's their website for Raspberry Cube. That's another one of their projects, and they've been going at it for at least a year now. They got it on the Switch as well. I don't know why. But it doesn't matter. So the next project has come up, and um, at the 27 at about 9 o'clock, they have revealed the project, and I'm about to check and see what the project is about. And let's see if they actually learn from their mistakes, because their usual mistakes involve um, copying uh, characters and their designs, and probably also their, resp their personalities. So let's go ahead and... Hit enter. I'm a little nervous, but it'll have to be done. I want to see if they guys have improved even the slightest. If this TV can also like activate, because that would have been a real shame. Here it goes. I mean, I don't think it's going to technically work all that well. That's the new project. Okay, I already see familiar faces. No, seriously, I see familiar faces. Oh god, I have to <laughs> I have to scroll all the way down. Okay, not all the way down, but let's see what the name of the project is. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this too, but you know, it's worth a see. Okay, here we go. Fuck. It's called Hami, Hamidashi Creative. Hamidashi Creative, you say? Hamidashi Creative. Well, it's an interesting name to be sure. But I mean, come on. Come on, these characters look way too familiar for me to just kind of leave and be. So let's talk about them, okay? So here goes. On the left side, that's the character that looks extremely close to Toa with her. Well, she kind of has bluish hair instead of like silver hair, which is kind of different, but it's also not really. Next up, we have the same black haired character, which is very close to Kaoruko and a couple of other characters, which also have black hair. The one on the, the one next to her very much looks like Ashe with her yellow, I mean, blonde hair. And all of them seem to be smiling for some odd reason. Usually that wasn't the case with their other projects. <laughs> okay, maybe maybe Raspberry Q was kind of the same. And of course we got this one on the side, which looks like Mihiro. He has the same color that Mihiro has. So already I am going... I'm going mad over this fucking thing. Like, I get it, right? Sometimes you just run out of ideas and... But it's not that hard to design characters, you guys. It's really not. I mean, it's got a nice name. It's called Hamidashi Creative. But like... Guys, 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 guys. Listen, if you ever want to make a visual novel, or at least just a novel in general, you have to spend some time trying to think of the characters. You can't copy and paste. Well, you can copy and paste if you're making like multiple novels or if you're making like, if you're making a trilogy that would have been fine, like having some characters appear 
or introduce new ones in different trilogies. I haven't written any, so I can't really tell. But what I'm trying to say is, if you're writing, if you're right, if you wrote one story and you want to write another one, don't just reuse characters. Try to come up with new characters, give them different personalities, give them different looks, you know. I mean, sure, these look different, but they're all the same. They have the same hair color as the previous characters did. It really is not that hard. You guys really need to step up your game. Damn, I was actually looking forward to something really cool. I mean, the title is still pretty cool, but the heroines look like Vagamama High Spec. I'm not even joking. Like, you, I can't even mistake it. You can't even mistake them. Now, I do see some variety in uh, uh, breast size, kind of, but that doesn't even matter when they look the same. So, writers, take note. Well, if you write, if you wrote a story once and you want to make another one, try to use different characters and different storylines. We'll get into depth of this visual novel once I arrive back in Slovenia, because right now my PC, uh, I mean, my smart TV isn't capable of doing anything. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, Hamidashi Creative, you say, a pro the sixth project by Microsoft. Well, I'm gonna go eat breakfast now. See ya.